Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know the score by now. I review many photographic, audio and video related products. Well today, we're taking another look at the Sony A7C. I've recently done two videos and my introduction video will be linked up here somewhere. I can never remember where YouTube linked them. Um, I'm actually filming the close-up shot on my A7C with the Tamron 28-75 to full frame lens. And the wide shot here is being filmed on my trusty uh, little ZV-1, Sony ZV-1. Um, now, the A7C is being promoted as a compact travel camera, 4K, a uh, compact travel camera, full frame, uh, 24 megapixel, um, similar specs to the A7 III, it shares the same sensor, but the video features, as I said in one of my videos, are a lot better on the A7C than they are on uh, the A7 III. Now, with the A7C, it can make a great vlogging camera because it has got the articulating screen. So you can see yourself, I can see myself here. I haven't had to plug extra monitors in and all that malarkey. It's got a microphone jack, it has a headphone jack. I'm actually using my Saramonic Blink 500 wireless microphone in it today. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go out and about and do various vlogging tests. I personally feel that the camera still probably too expensive and still a little bit too heavy as a vlogging camera. I, if I was doing vlogging, I don't do vlogging, but if I was doing vlogging, I would probably use something like the little Sony ZV-1, uh, which we have here. This is my uh, second ZV-1. It has got the articulating screen. It's really light, it's compact, um, and it's got a microphone input. Really, really great little camera. The only downside of this camera, slight downside, the widest it goes to is 24 mil. So uh, some vloggers are saying it's a little bit tight for vlogging. Uh, you have to hold your hand out really you know, far away if you can um, uh, to get you know, the ambience of the surroundings in. Um, so with that in mind, when I do the Sony A7C vlogging test, I'm not, well, I will use the Sony 28 to 60 kit lens that I've got with it, but again, that's really tight, so not an ideal lens. Um, what I'll probably go with is the Tamron 20 mil. It's light, it's compact, um, it's a full frame lens, but that's 20 mil, so um, that should be a really nice lens for vlogging. We're going to go out and see if it is. Um, it hasn't got image stabilization in this lens, so you are completely reliant on the five axis in body image stabilization in the camera. Um, I don't know what that's like. I've got it turned off for the moment purely because I've got it on a tripod. But we'll see what that's like. We will try. We will try the Sony 28 to 60 just to see, you know, if it can be used for vlogging. It's not very heavy. It's a really, really light lens. So um, it'd be interesting to see how good that is. Um, and I'm also going to try the Tamron uh, 17 to 28 lens just to see how good that is for vlogging. It might be a bit big and a bit heavy, but we'll give that a try. Um, again, no image stabilization in that lens. Uh, I'm also going to try it on a gimbal. So let's get out and about and see what this camera do, can do as a vlogging camera. And then we'll get back to the home studio and, and that's where we'll finish off. My first test is with the uh, Tamron 20mm f2.8 lens. I've got it on shutter priority at 1 50th of a second and I've got the steady shot turned on. Now we are reliant on the uh, IBIS in the camera because the lens has no in-body, well not in-body, in-lens stabilisation. It is purely what's on the, uh, on the body of the camera, so or in the body of the camera. I'm still using my Saramonic Blink 500. It's a bit gusty out here, so hopefully it's not picking up too much wind noise. Um, I think it's going to start to rain, so let's just have a little wander down the path. Now, doing walking talkings with vlogging is not the easiest of things, because uh, A, you've got to keep an eye on what you're walking, where you're walking, um, and B, you tend to get a sort of a bumpy effect like that. Um, so, you know, <laughs> take it as it is but that's with image stabilization on in the camera. Um, I really like this lens, it's nice and comfortable. It's not too heavy actually. Um, and the thing is, because it's 20 mil, you get a nice wide view. And I can hold it further back, but that's for me, that's just too uncomfortable. I would need to hold it about here. Um, and I think the ZV-1 is gonna give you a similar sort of perspective if you hold it further back. Um, but this is with a 20 mil lens, um, and I think that's really nice. And I think this is an ideal vlogging lens. 
um, it's a great vlogging setup, I think, you know. Um, so what we'll do in a moment is swap it out for the uh, kit lens, the 28 to 60. I'm now using the Sony kit lens, the 28 to 60. I actually don't think it has got image stabilization in the lens. I should confirm that and put a, a link uh, on the video to let you know for sure. Um, but that's now with the uh, kit lens, the 28 to 60. Um, and I, I, again, it's, um, it's pretty good. It, I, I'm not so sure it's uh, gonna be a great vlogging lens, as I said earlier. It's a lot tighter. It would be a lot tighter because there's eight mil difference between this and the Tamron. Um, for walking, uh, it's going to be very similar to a Tamron, I would think. Um, but yeah, uh, this is said at its widest. Obviously, I wouldn't want to go in tighter than that because uh, that would be silly. So you would want to use it at the 28 mil end if you were going to use this lens for vlogging. Um, I think actually you can get away with it. It is an f4, so. In low light, it isn't going to be as good as the Tamron because the Tamron goes to f2.8 or down to f2.8. The widest this goes to is f4. So there's a big difference there and the big difference that it's 28mm at its widest. So um, I mean, it's a nice sharp lens, but not ideal for this purpose. I'm now testing the Tamron uh, 17 to 28 lens. Um, and you may not be out of here, but it's actually hammering down with rain outside now. So uh, we won't be going outdoors with this particular lens, um, but I can walk around a bit in here. Um, so you can kind of see how this reacts to walking and talking at the same time. Um, it's, it's a great combination and it's really wide. If I hold it further out, you can see how wide that is. Um, really starting to hammer down now. Um, and you can see again, being that it's an f2.8 lens, it's great in darker environments, great in low light. So I'm kind of doing a low light test and a um, vlogging test with this camera. I'm definitely not going outdoors in that rain. I know this camera's uh, weather sealed. Ugh, I'm getting wet. It's weather sealed, but it's not, I think, downpour proof. So um, that's the Tamron 17 to 28. There is no image stabilization in the lens uh, of this lens. It's purely reliant on the stabilization in the camera. So um, that's how good the image stabilization is on the A7C. I've now put the A7C with the Tamron 20mm on my uh, G6 Plus gimbal. Now, I, I'm no expert in setting up gimbals. In fact, I'm hopeless at setting up gimbals, but it does seem to be working. Um, I've, I'm nipping out while it's not raining because it hammered down just now. So I'm just walking down the garden path just to see how well the A7C works on a gimbal. Now this is quite a small gimbal, but it seems, it seems, to, be, <laughs> seems to be working okay, although it does seem to have a mind of its own. But um, I see the eye tracking is still working. Um, I've had to turn obviously image stabilization off. You wouldn't want it on uh, using the gimbal. I'm still using my Saramonic Blink 500 uh, microphone. So here we go, that's the Sony A7C on my... <laughs> See what I mean about gimbals, they go where they like. Um, that's my Sony A7C on the G6 Plus gimbal. Now what do we make of that? I've had a quick look at the footage and you know I'm not into vlogging but the best combination is definitely the Tamron 20mm uh, we can see here um, fitted to the A7C. I mean, what's great about the A7C is its articulating screen. I know we keep harping on about that but that's what does make it a great vlogging camera and you can hold it out. I mean I actually wasn't holding it like that just so you know I didn't mention it but I was actually using this grip that the, um, my other ZV-1 is fitted to, and I've got the uh, Saramonic mic fitted onto the ZV-1. Um, but it's this uh, remote control, it's Bluetooth remote. Um, I couldn't get any of the other functions to work, but luckily the record button worked, so that was, that was a thing. Uh, so I used that with the, obviously, uh, A7C. So the best combination was the Tamron uh, 20mm, a number of reasons. A, it's wide. So if you look at the clip again, you can see that it's a nice wide, uh, wide shot. Um, and then obviously I tried the uh, 28 to 60. It's the nice kit lens, um, but 
the only problem with it is the two things which we kind of knew would be the problem is 28 mils so it's not incredibly wide so you don't get a lot of the surrounding in and it only goes down to f4 possibly could be a hindrance in lower light but then again the a7c because it's a full frame body will you know can go up to quite high isos before you start getting really bad noise so um i don't see the the f4 aperture being a big issue um it's predominantly the, it's a wide lens but that's the um 28 to 60 kit lens and then the third option that i tried was the uh tamron 17 to 28 which is basically this lens here um the problem with this lens although it's uh, uh, internal focusing, so that's great. It's not extended. It's just a bit weighty. So that and the camera body was just a little bit too heavy for me. But it did go to 17mm, just a wee bit wider than the Tamron 20mm. A bit too heavy. And it does go down to f2.8. So I would rule that one out. And I ruled out the 28-60. Um, to 60. So if I was doing vlogging... That's the combination I would use. And then the last test I done uh, was with the 28, uh, the, the 20 mil, the A7C, and this flipping thing, um, the G6. What is it? Oh, I'll put a link in below. Um, it is Fiu Tech Fiu U Tech. Oh, I don't know how that's pronounced. Um, but I can't balance gimbals, as I said when I was doing it. Um, I find everything just like wobbles everywhere when I'm trying to set the flipping thing up. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not a gimbal fan. Um, as I said, I really would love a manufacturer to come out with a nice compact gimbal that you could just put straight on and you didn't have to balance it and set it up. Is it just me? Please put in the comments below, um, is it just me? Am I getting old? I am getting old, I know. But, um, yeah, not my scene. Um, but, to be fair, I wouldn't use the A7C as a vlogging camera. I think it's too bulky, it's too expensive, it's completely not necessary. I would go with this combination. This would be my combination for vlogging. The uh, ZV-1, it's got its articulating screen. It's got a mic input. You actually know it's recording because a big red tally light. That would be my my combination. Great uh, face detect, autofocus, very light. You know, you could hold that. Even I could hold that for a length of time with this remote control. That will stop and start. Well, actually, I haven't set it up with a ZV-1. But that makes a great combination. That's what I would do. Um, but if you didn't want to carry around a ZV-1 and an A7C, um, the a7c will produce great images great video um, and is a, um, a great vlogging camera if that's what you're into thanks very much for watching please hit the like button if you did like this video and please subscribe if you haven't already done so i really appreciate everyone who does subscribe it helps me grow the channel and it's great for me and it's uh, great for uh, my motivation to make more videos i don't get paid for making these videos i don't get sponsored um all the kit that I use, um, I've paid for. So, you know, I'm really proud of that, but I'm not, you know, being paid to say something good about something. If I like it, I say I like it. And if I don't like it, I say I don't like it. Um, who cares? So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. And uh, there we go. Thanks very much. Bye for now.